they're an important part of our heritage. The heritage of St Ives, and I think the heritage of Britain. It's probably one of the few art colonies where all the studios are still here intact that have been used by artists over perhaps a century and a half now. St Ives' influence in the world of contemporary painting is really quite significant. And one only has to think of that post-war modernist movement when the small Cornish fishing village, miles from anywhere, rivaled the grand metropolis of New York as the forefront of modern painting throughout the 50s. This studio is part of um, a complex of studios about 15 of them, which have been here since the Victorian era. And over the years have been occupied by many celebrated artists. And uh, many of those artists who, who are now uh, very well known as part of that post-war modern movement use uh, the facilities of this studio, of the school studio. They, they weren't students in, in, the, in the accepted sense, but they certainly used the facilities and maybe the life classes. And one thinks of uh, Terry Frost, uh, Michael Canney, Peter Lanyon, and Wilhelmina Barnes Graham. And in more recent years, uh, Sandra Blow, uh, John Emanuel, Tony and Jane O'Malley. The list of, of uh, distinguished artists who have used this studio and, and others in the complex is a very long list indeed. One of the advantages of having this team of local contemporary practicing painters to draw upon is that we can invite particular painters to teach on particular courses. They would draw from their own practice in the teaching of those courses. The course we have running today, which is part of a, a contemporary landscape course, uh, has uh, Liz Luckwell and Marion Taylor teaching on it. And there are other courses where we draw on other members of the team. Been taught by practicing painters in the middle of a, an historical set of studios and a, a long-standing artistic community and having this particular environment, all of these factors, I think, make, make company a quite a unique experience and will, will influence their work considerably. Some of the things that we do here in a sense echo my own path as an artist finding his way into the, uh, the world of contemporary art. So, uh, and I feel that you know, if we're able to pass on what I've learned to, to others, and the same would apply to the other teachers who are here, um, then we've got a very special place. And I am as enthusiastic now 30 years later, uh, as I was when I, when I picked up the range of the school in 1977. The future of the school is very much bound up with the future of the Portsmouth Studios. And I would like to think that we could remain the same size, a small school offering um, very high quality courses to small groups of people. And uh, I would like to think that, you know, it's, it's got a really good future. <laughs>